More than 2.2 million adults are incarcerated in the U.S. Nearly 55,000 youths are confined to a juvenile facility. Important thing to remember is that most individuals that are in corrections have very mainstream uh, values and really do aspire to rejoin society and to have a, a, a middle-class life and that uh, what people are lacking often is opportunities. And our, our tendency to stigmatize people that are in corrections really holds that back in terms of people being able to prepare for release and move forward into release uh, and have opportunities for legitimate success. Individuals in corrections often lack critical job skills. I've, I've met lots of people who don't realize that. And I think what they are surprised to learn is that inmates make the best students. I, I've had a faculty member who teaches accounting, uh, teaches lots of different business classes, and she just says, you know, the thing that always strikes her is that she gives them whatever assignment she needs to give them, and they do all of the work. And that you really can operate a program that's just like a college on, the main, on our main campuses. And that's what probably surprises people the most. Education lowers recidivism rates and saves taxpayer dollars. But access to education is limited and technology is underused. We developed an education technology and corrections policy brief for the U.S. Department of Education Office of Career and Technical and Adult Education. Um, five years ago, you just didn't hear about technology in corrections or in correctional education, and now it seems like everybody's doing it or everybody's interested in doing it. Um, so we think the brief is really kind of, it's being designed so that we can get that type of information uh, to states and facilities. Um, it also talks about the benefits of using education technology in corrections, um, how it can help student learning, how, how it can help them prepare for release. Um, it also can help teachers um, and instructors um, get the professional development resources they need, tools that they can use in the classroom. It can also help administrators in terms of measuring student progress um, and tracking students once released. Um, so there's a lot of different um, ways that we think technology can be helpful and this report kind of looks at those different ways. If you, as part of the process of returning to society, to your community, want to find meaningful work, if you do not have the opportunity to be proficient with current technologies in a work uh, environment, then you will not be very successful. What we've done is have internet access at all our correctional facilities. And we need that in order for the young people to access college courses and to get the latest technology for K through 12 services. We leverage it with teachers. We do blended learning. So we use technology to the full amount. We try to have, you know, the teacher, we're trying to give them the tools with our, we call them KO labs, computer aided instruction labs. You know, we're working with tablet technology, uh, you know, trying to do pilots with say e-readers in the library to get them used to using technology. Technology can improve and expand education in corrections. It can be done and it can be done securely and it can be done in a way that really could improve student outcomes and help them prepare for release. The goal really should be on focusing on the future and what these individuals need when they're released. Um, and technology can help get them to a place where they will be able to get more engaged in their communities, where they can get living wage employment, um, and they can avoid recidivating. That changes the, a person's outlook, and that changes the scope of work that's being um, delivered. But more importantly, it changes the landscape as they tend to go forward past that point. So you open their minds up to a changing world, an ever-evolving world. And so I think it's some great things that are happening inside of the facility settings as it relates to technology and education. This is about public safety. Every person I educate who never recidivates means that's one less person, one less victim. And that is pretty invigorating and exciting to think about. Opportunities are limited only by our vision of what is possible. Educational Technology and Corrections 2015. Visit go.usa.gov backslash 3TPW9.